And Millie, I will be very, very, very impressed if you can spell my character's full name. You know, I want the, the full title. Go on. V I S C O U N T T E W K S B U R Y M A R Q U E S S O F B A S I L W E. No. What do you want about? Write it down. I got that right. T H E R Viscount Tewksbury Mark Quest of Nazareth. Did I get it right? I think I was wrong. I think you were right. <laughs> Louis Partridge, I have a question for you. Okay, I'll get myself ready. How would you describe Enola and Tewksbury's friendship relationship? (laughs) A friendship relationship? I would describe it as an evolving, it's when we first meet them, they're quite, you know, they don't really like each other. So it evolves an evolving, loving, warm, open, trusting and like supporting relationship. Obviously Lord Tewksbury, um, is escaping his family's traditions and he is a new thinker. What would you say to people out there that are, you know, going through a similar journey as Tewksbury? The easiest option is to do what everybody else wants you to do, which is what Tewksbury probably would have done without having met Enola. But I think you've got to, you've got to choose the path. <laughs> the drive for you, you know, you, you've, got to, you've got to take a risk and you've got to be sure enough in yourself. You've got to trust that things will things will be right. And you know, you've got to go with your gut and, and what you do, as opposed to what other people want you to believe. You know, you've got to you've got to do you. Why was it important for you to bring Enola to life? <laughs> and what aspects of her personality do you want to portray? I never had an Enola growing up. I really wanted to be inspired by a female British lead. And this was the perfect character for me to look up to and portray. Um, There are certain qualities to Enola in the book that I was very inspired by and wanted to portray on screen, like her bravery, her will to be vulnerable, her humor, her wit, her uh, British uh, banter, and the love that she has for her mother. And so we really went from the book to the script to then on screen, and those kind of similar traits uh, carried through to, to, to the screen. You even go as far as to break the fourth wall. Why was it important for you to talk to the audience? It was important because with this film, it felt like it was only right to have the audience come on this journey with Enola and grow with her. And so um, for me, it was actually a very exciting kind of decision that we got to make. It's also something I've never done before, so it's a bit of a challenge, but it's also not been done before like the way we've done it. So it's also different and it brings a different perspective into Hollywood's movies. I agree, well said. I could even add the quote, you've got to make some noise if you want to be heard, which is a personal favorite of mine. Yeah, but Millie, what made you find your voice as a young actor? I've always admired um, actors, specifically um, female actors that have gotten into the activism, um, you know, such as Angelina Jolie. Um, She works very closely with the UN and I've always really admired her work with um, certain charities and her activist role has been always Um, as admirable as her uh, acting work. So I've always enjoyed watching female actors do that. Um, I also love Audrey Hepburn and her work with UNICEF. So I've always really wanted to find my voice. I also wanted to find something that I felt like I could connect with. So I've worked with UNICEF for a few years and obviously I'm really grateful that I'm an ambassador now. So I can fully throw myself into working with them directly on um, helping to fight for children's rights. You know, there are specific things like, um, you know, young people, young girls um, having the same education as young boys, um, you know, helping people in places that uh, have conflict and has poverty. Um, I personally, you know, have never, fortunately, never had to go through that. So, you know, for me to have my education, I should be edu- be an educated human being. 
and to try and help the people that, that deserve an education as well. So I've, I, yeah, I've found my voice in that respect. I think everyone can find their voice once they search for something that they can relate to. After filming this, or maybe even before, did you did you have a voice? Did you feel like you had anything that you were passionate about or something that you wanted to speak up about? You know, are you interested in any of that or no? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's a very way to ask a question. I mean, yes, I suppose everybody has things that they personally care about, but I think I'm yet to... Discover. You know, yeah, definitely, yeah, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm still pretty young. Um, uh, and I'm still learning, um, you know, and discovering that definitely. So yeah, I think that's a prime example of the film. You know, we we touch on um, young people finding themselves, and this is a you know this is a, a case of you know every everyone's finding themselves. I haven't fully found myself, and I'm sure there's going to be in years to come things that I care about that are different to now as well as you. So you know, we're growing up and we're seeing where this path takes us.